in the costume closet with Mimi and you. <laughs> well, hello there, my fabulous friends. You're just in time to see my latest, greatest costume creation. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a hat. But this hat is a very special hat. It's special because it's a straw hat, just like farmers wear. And where should we put this hat? On top of my head. So can you guess what the costume of the day is? A farmer costume. And golly gee, I'm just so excited to show you the farm. What kinds of things do you think we'll see when we get to the farm? Maybe some pigs, chickens, a big red barn. Once we put on our costume and use our imaginations, anything is possible. So what do you say? Let's get into costume. We're getting into costume, dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowers and boots. Look at me! Welcome to the farm where we take care of the farmland. Welcome to the farm where every farmer needs a farm hand. So will you, will you be? Will you, will you be? Will you, will you be my farm hand? I wake My big green tractor all around I smile and wave the sun hello And off me and my tractor go To harvest all the crops grown from the ground Welcome to the farm Where we take care of the farmland Welcome to the farm Where every farmer needs a farm hand So could you, could you be, could you, could you be Could you, could you be my farm hand Shoveling the hay, cleaning out the barn, all the live long day, putting up the scarecrows, shoo bird shoo. My oh my, how the work day flew. Welcome to the farm, where we take care of the farmland. Welcome to the farm, where every farmer needs a farm hand. So won't you, won't you be, won't you, won't you be, won't you, won't you be my farm hand? Do you want to know what we grow? Oh, well, I'll tell you. We grow teeny weeny beans and cutie little fruits and turnips and tomatoes and potatoes with roots, peas and carrots and rows of grains and wheat. Broccoli and peppers and barley and oats. Gotta have something to feed the goats and lots more farm fresh foods that we can eat. Welcome to the farm where we take care of the farmland. Welcome to the farm where every farmer needs a farm hand. So will you, will you be, will you, will you be? Could you, could you be, could you, could you be? Won't you, won't you be, won't you, won't you be? Won't you, won't you be my farm hand? What do you say? Will you be my farm hand? You will? Oh, well, I'm just tickle pink. Let's get going. I'm so glad you're my farm hand. We'll work arm in arm. So let's get working, farm hand. Welcome to the farm. Ah, farm living is the life for me. And so many animals, what a treat! And I love my costume. I've got my overalls, my straw hat, and my gloves. I'm ready to work on the farm. Mimi, Mimi, I'm so glad you're here. Wow, and you brought your friends. Hi, friends. Howdy, Chad the Chicken. Ooh, I just love when my fabulous friends get to meet. Friends, this is Chad the Chicken. Can you say hello? Hi, friends. It's excellent to meet you. You're just in time. I need your help. What's wrong? I was feeding the pigs in the pen, and, well, I think one might be missing. Will you and your friends help me count ten pigs? 
You'll help Chad the chicken with me, right, friends? You will? Amazing. Thank you so much, my new friends. Doing kind things for others is always cool, whether it's best friends or new friends or friends you haven't met yet. Now, where is that pig pen? Follow me. Me, me, and you. Welcome to the pig pen, friends. This is where all the pig pals stay. But it seems like one of them won't stay put. Should we count them together? Yes, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We counted to nine. Bark! But Mimi, that should be ten. Where could that other piggy be? Hmm, do you see it? Where could it be? You saw it? I don't see it. I need my glasses. Maybe we should try again. Let's all count together again. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a second, Chad. Who's our new friend over there? The missing piggy. There you are. Ten. Ten. Thank you so much, my new friends. Great job. We found all 10 pigs. Mimi, we've had so much fun working on the farm today. Can I show you something else I've been working on that's very special to me? Of course, Chad the Chicken. What is it? This is my garden. And if I do say so myself, it's the most beautiful garden in the whole world. Oh, wow, Chad. It is beautiful. You sure do stay busy on that farm. Oh, yes. I'm one charged up chicken. Bark, bark, bark! Did you see what I'm growing in my garden? Well, let's take a look, friends. Now, I think I know this one. This is an apple tree. See those apples hanging from the leaves? Friends, what color are those apples? That's right, the apples are red. They're red apples. Apples are my favorite fruit, Mimi. Apple pie, apple fritters, apple juice. Yummy. What about over there? Do you see another kind of fruit? Yes, what fruit is that? <gasps> That's right, it's an orange. And can you tell me what color the oranges are? Yes, oranges are, well, orange. <laughs> They're named after a color. Oranges and red apples both come from trees. Mimi, Mimi, over here. <gasps> oh. Wow, Chad the Chicken, you have vegetables too. Those are carrots. Friends, what color are carrots? Yes, that's right. They're also orange. These are orange carrots. I love carrots. Mm, mm, mm. These carrots grow from the ground. They're what we call a root vegetable. And what is growing next to it? Wow, it's another vegetable. Do you know what kind of vegetable it is? Broccoli. Yes, it's broccoli. And broccoli is the color? Green, well done. Green, green broccoli grows out of the ground just like the carrots. Wow. I love broccoli because green is my favorite color. Wow, Chad the Chicken, you have a great colorful garden. You have vegetables like broccoli and carrots, and you have fruits like oranges and apples. Fruits and vegetables are so healthy for you to eat. I can't wait to make a big delicious salad with all these fruits and vegetables. Mmm, mmm. Listen to all those happy oinks. Friends, do you know what sound a pig makes? That was good. Let me try. Bark, bark, bark! Did I do it? <laughs> no, Chad. That's the sound a chicken makes. But you're a chicken, so that makes sense. I'm a what? Wow! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O With a moo moo here and a moo moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O 
E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had a chicken That's me! E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here and a quack quack there Here a quack there a quack everywhere a quack quack Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O His farm, he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, friends, let's see if you can figure this one out. There are three words here. Tree, animal, and vegetable. And there are three items. An apple tree, a pig, and a carrot. Now, let's see if you can match the word to the item. Which one of these items is a tree? Yes, that's an apple tree. Well done! Now, which one of these items is an animal? Good job! Yes, that's a pig. A pig is a kind of animal. And that just leaves one left, which is the vegetable. A carrot is a kind of vegetable. Hooray, friends! Great matching! Me, me, and you. Phew! Being a farmer sure is exhausting. We learned so many new things today. We sang a fun song about life on a farm. We helped Chad the chicken count pigs. And we even learned about different kinds of fruits and vegetables and how colorful they can be. And we did all of this just by putting on a costume and using our imaginations. How cool is that? But now, I think it's time to go back to being me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you There are so many things that you can be and do So be your own you, be your own you Be your own, be your own you, you, you Putting on a costume can be your guide To help you find out who you are inside So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu But I'm the only me Your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you. Be your own you. Be your own. Be your own you. 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 Be your own. Be your own you. 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 Be your own. Be your own you. 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 A one, two. A one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. Ah, there we go. I'm back to me again. I'm gonna miss wearing that hat though. Oh, but I just thought of another really cool, super fun hat that I could show you, but oh, I'll save it for next time. Remember friends, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. Now where is that hat? In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Oh, hello, fabulous friends. I'm so glad you came by because today I am working on a costume that is really, really old. Way older than you. Way older than your parents even, if you can believe it. This costume is so old, it's prehistoric. 
Can you guess what it is? That's right! It's a dinosaur! What sound does a dinosaur make? Wow, that's a good dinosaur sound! And you're right! Dinosaurs roar! Dinosaurs roamed our planet 65 million years ago! That's really far back in the past. Today, I'm going to put on my dinosaur costume and we are going to go way back in time and visit them. We might see a stegosaurus, a dinosaur egg. We might even see the biggest, strongest dinosaur of them all, the T-Rex. What do you say, friends? Should we go get into costume? All righty, let's do it. We're getting into costume. Dressing up in something new Yeah, we're getting into costume So let's see what we can be and do With Mimi and you A one, two, a one, two, three Zippers and buttons and bowens and boots Look at me! Errol, fancy seeing you here Hola Mimi, hello I love your dinosaur costume I made it myself. Harold, what is this dance we're doing? Why, it's the dino dance. Do the dino, do 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 the dino, do the dino, do the do the dino dance, do the dino, do 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 the dino, do. Stretch, 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 stretch your neck. Stretch, 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 stretch your neck. Now clomp around like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Clomp, clomp, clomp like a Rex. Clomp, clomp, clomp like a Rex. Do the dino. Do, 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 do the dino. Do the dino. Do the, do the dino. Roar! Let me hear you roar like a dinosaur. Roar! One more time, let's roar like a dinosaur. Roar! Now I'll give you one more chance to do the do the dino dance. Do the dino, 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 do the dino. I had a feeling that would happen. All good, Harold. Here, let me help. Ay, gracias, Mimi. It's really great to see you again. You truly are a sight for Dina sore eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's in all of these boxes? Oh, 
Estas son camisetas. These are t-shirts for the dinosaur parade. We're having a dinosaur parade tonight and all the dinosaurs are coming. But I'm absolutely panicking because I'm not sure if I have the right size t-shirts for all of the dinosaurs. Mm, oh gosh, that is quite the conundrum. You see, dinosaurs aren't all big. Dinosaurs come in all different sizes. Some are really small and some are really big. Exactly, so I need to sort the dinosaurs from smallest to largest, pequeño a grande, so I can make sure they get the right size t-shirt. Well, that seems like something we can help with. Would you help me and Harold sort the dinosaurs? Gracias. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. It looks like we've got three different sized dinosaurs. Hmm. It looks like this t-shirt is a small. Friends, can you tell us which dinosaur is the smallest? That's right, the Velociraptor is the smallest, so he'll get the small t-shirt. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad we have the right size t-shirt for him. I don't want to get on his bad side. Now, this t-shirt is... Grande, large. Which dinosaur is the largest? Perfect. This is the perfect size for the brontosaurus, which leaves only one dinosaur left, the stegosaurus. She's not small, that's for sure. And she's not large like the brontosaurus. I'd say she's a medium. And this one is a medium. We did it, friends! We got the right sizes for all three dinosaurs. Small, medium, and large. Ah, uh, what a relief. Well, since we sorted that out so quickly, now we've got time for another dance. The dino dance? No, that dance is only for the morning hours and certain special holidays. This dance is called the Hokey Pokey. I know that one! Let's go! Put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right hand in, and you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Do do the hokey pokey. Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Do you think it's a dinosaur egg? Yes. Yes, that is what I think it is. Then yes, Mimi. It's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> One. You see, friends, dinosaurs were hatched out of big eggs like this one, just like birds are today. In fact, birds are considered to be the modern-day dinosaurs. Whoa, I did not know that, Mimi. Eres muy inteligente. 
You see, friends, sometimes when we have something really cool like this egg, other people might want to see it too. And what you can do is take turns, just like Harold and I are doing. See, he is taking his turn first, and when he is done, then I'll take my turn next. Okay, Mimi, I'm done with the egg. You can look at it now. Thank you, Harold. That is some A plus turn taking right there. De nada, you're welcome. When we take turns, then everyone gets to have fun. Mimi! I got it. Whoops, close call. Thank you, Harold. De nada. Dinosaurs came in all different colors. Do you know what color this pterodactyl is? That's right, this pterodactyl is purple. Now, can you tell me what color this stegosaurus is? Yes, the stegosaurus is red. It's a red stegosaurus. And last, but certainly not least, what color is this big T-Rex? Right again, the T-Rex is green. So, we have the purple pterodactyl, the red stegosaurus, and the green T-Rex. Great job recognizing colors, friends. Me, me, and you. Whoa! What time is it? I get so confused when I travel 65 million years. Oh, it's time to get out of costume. <laughs> it was so fun dancing and getting to know all the different kinds of dinosaurs and helping Harold with those t-shirts. I hope the dinosaur parade went okay. I had so much fun with you today, and I'm so glad you joined me. And now, it's time to go back to being me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide To help you find out who you are inside So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu But I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you Be your own you, be your own you There are so many things that you can be and do So be your own you, be your own you Be your own, be your own you, you, you be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. Oh, there we go. I'm me again. And oh, how I just love being me. Remember, friends. You're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Ooh, you be your own. You're a shining In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Oh, hi there, my fabulous friends. Welcome to my comfy little costume closet. I am working on something extra sparkly and fun today. I'll give you a hint. It's a made up creature that lives under the sea. It's got a fish tail, but a human body, and it loves to sing like you and me. Have you guessed it? That's right, friends. The costume of the day is mermaid. Oh, I just love mermaids, don't you? So if mermaids live under the sea, can you guess what kinds of things we'll see on our adventures today? Oh, great answers. We'll see fish, colorful coral. We might even see a playful dolphin, a sea turtle, or a big shark. Oh, 
Who knows? Anything can happen when we are using our imaginations together. So what do you say, friends? Should we put on our fishtail and scuttle out of here? You know, I was hoping you'd say that. Let's get into costume. We're getting into costume. Dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowens and boots. Look at me! There's a big old tub where the fishies blub and the mermaids like to be. And the coral reef is beyond belief in the wet, wild, wonderful sea. There's a big old tub where the fishies blub and the mermaids like to be. And the coral reef is beyond belief in the wet, wild, wonderful sea. Down in the ocean, there's such a commotion. It's a buoy for barnacle bash, where dancing dolphins, all scales and all fins, are welcome to join in the splash. There's a big old tub where the fishies bluff and the mermaids like to be. And the coral reef is beyond belief in the wet, wild, wonderful sea. There are sassy seahorses <laughs> and crusty crustaceans. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Fruit colored fish La. and a sneaky shark. <laughs> there are smart sea turtles. Indubitably. And crabby crabs. Get out of my way. It's an all day, every day water park. There's a big old tub where the fishies blub and the mermaids like to be. And the coral reef is beyond belief in the wet, wild, wonderful sea. Can you blow a bubble kiss? Just like this. Can you swish, swish, swish? Like a fish, fish, fish? Can you listen to a seashell? What secrets does she tell? You're such a good swimmer. So make your Murray tail shimmer. There's a big old tub where the fishies love and the mermaids like to be. And the coral reef is beyond belief in the wet, wild, wonderful sea. There's a big old tub where the fishies love and the mermaids like to be. And the coral reef is beyond belief in the wet, wild, wonderful sea. Wet, wild, wonderful sea. Wet. Mimi, fancy seeing you here under the sea. Chad the chicken, I might say the same thing. What are you doing underwater? Oh, Mimi, bark, bark, bark. I'm no ordinary chicken. I'm a chicken of the sea. Oh, well that explains everything. Oh, Chad, you know my friends. Oh yeah, hello friends. I'm actually so glad you're here because I've got a bit of a problem to solve. Oh, what is it? You see, I run a school down here during the summer. A school for fish. And one of my students is being very sneaky and hiding from me. Can you help me find him? Friends, will you help us find the missing student? Oh, fantabulous. Chad, first of all, we need to know what the fish looks like. Why don't you describe him? Great idea, Mimi. It's a yellow tang fish. It's bright yellow with a pointy nose and mouth, and it's got a triangle-shaped tail. Great. So friends, this is the fish we are looking for. Let's go find him. Hmm. Okay. Nothing fishy going on here quite yet. Oh, look over there. Ow. That's just old Austin the octopus. You know, he's got a twin around here somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah, they're identical. Ha! <laughs> Good one, Chad. Oh, what's that there? Oh, that's Tommy the sea turtle. 
Yo, Tommy! Why don't you call me anymore? Because I don't have a shell phone. Ha! Good one. Oh, Mimi, look over there. Why, it's a crab! Still not the yellow fish we're after. Oh, yeah. That's Chris Crab. He's moving slow this morning. Looks like he could use a crabachino. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you've got so many good ones, Chad. Oh, wait. Is that him? Do you see him, friends? <gasps> yes. That's my missing student. Well done, friends. You found him. All righty, you. Come on. Let's get back to school. No more clowning around. You're not a clown fish. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, wow. I'm glad we found the missing fish. I did not expect to run into Chad down here, but that's the thing about imagination. You never know what you might uncover. Friends, now that we've seen several different beautiful creatures underwater, let's go see what we can find on shore. Wow, it's a completely different world up here. Oh, look over there, it's a seagull. Hi, Seagull! Do you see anything else? What's that? A boat? Oh my golly gosh, you're right! There is a boat! But that's not just any kind of boat. It's a rowboat. Hey, that reminds me of one of my all-time favorite songs. Will you sing along with me? Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently row, down the stream row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream In the wet, what wonderful sea Bark! There are so many different colors you can find in the ocean. Let's see how many you can recognize. What color is the ocean? Yes, blue! What color is the seaweed? That's right, the seaweed is green. Now, what color are these fish? That's right, they're yellow. Great job. Mimi and you. Wow, that was quite an adventure. As Chad would say, it was great getting a little bit of vitamin C. <laughs> we saw so many different kinds of fish, coral, and plants. We helped Chad the chicken find his missing student, and we learned all about the importance of kindness and respecting each other's differences. Being a mermaid is so fun. I kind of don't want to put away the costume today. But, alas, I must become human again once more. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide To help you find out who you are inside So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu But I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you Be your own you, be your own you There are so many things that you can be and do 
So be your own you, be your own you, be your own, be your own you, you, you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. Be your own, be your own you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. Oh, there we go. I've got legs again. Remember, friends, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't know that was still there. Oh, wait a minute. I could use this. Be your own. In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Oh, hi there, friends. Don't you just love my new hat that I put on top of my head? Do you know what color my hat is? It's a red hat. And it's not just any red hat. What kind of hat is it, I wonder? Hmm, maybe it's a firefighter's hat. Yes, it's a firefighter's hat. So I bet you can already guess what the costume of the day is today, can't you? It's Firefighter! Woo! Firefighters are really important people in our community. They work in a fire station. They drive a big red truck. And they get to wear a red helmet just like this one. So what do you say, friends? Should we put on our costumes, use our imaginations, and learn all about what it's like to be a firefighter? Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Let's get into costume. We're getting into costume. Dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowers and boots. Look at me! Mimi! Ooh. Hola, Mimi. Hello. You look great in your firefighter costume. Well, thank you, Harold. I've got my fire pants, my suspenders, my red hat. I'm ready to go. Friends, this is my good friend, Harold. He's here to help us save the day. Mucho gusto, fabulous friends. It's so great to meet you. Harold, where's your red helmet? Well, I was gonna put it on, but then I got nervous about being a firefighter because I just don't think I'm brave enough. Pero estoy aquí. I'm here. Harold, you're one of the bravest people I know. You got this. Hello? Uh-huh. In a tree? Okay, we'll be there. Mimi, I hope you're right about me being a brave person because there's an emergency. Are you ready to save the day? Is the firefighter way. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. We're coming to the rescue. There's a kitty in a tree. And we gotta go and get her down carefully. Got my fire coat and my fire pants. Put your helmet on and do a firefighter dance. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Gotta get there quick. No time, time to, to delay. delay. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Sliding down the fire pole to get the kitty unstuck. Let's get into our big red fire truck. We're coming, little kitty. Don't chitter and chatter. We're gonna get you down with our trusty ladder. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Strong and brave is the firefighter way. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Gotta get there quick, no time to delay. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Wheel, wheel, saving the day. Wheel, 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 wheel. Come on, everybody, we're saving the day. 
You know, Mimi, this might be my favorite costume of yours yet. You know why? Why, Harold? Because my favorite color is rojo, which is Spanish for red. I just love the color red. It's so bright and cheerful, and there are so many things around here that are red. You're right, Harold. I like the color red, too. What if we play a game of I Spy and see if we can find all the red things here? Friends, will you help us find all the red things in the fire station? Ooh, yay! This is a fun game. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye something red. Spot as many things as you can. Oh, wow. There's so many things. There's that fire truck, those doors, those boots, those jackets, and oh, that red toolbox. Great job, Harold, and great job, friends. You found all the red things in the fire station. Now, can you count how many red things there are? There's the fire truck. One. That's right. That's one red item. And those red doors? Two. Three. Those two boots? Four. Five. And don't forget about the toolbox. Six. Those red jackets? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten! There are ten red things in the fire station! Great job! Wow! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! ten. Way to go, friends! Mimi and you. <sighs> wow, Mimi. Thanks for your help saving the day. You are really brave. It's inspirational. Oh, you're welcome, Harold. I had a lot of fun driving that fire truck, and we couldn't have done it without our friends. Sí, por supuesto. Muchas gracias, amigos. Thank you so much, friends, or should I say, heroes. You're so right, Harold. Firefighters are real life heroes. Wow. Does that mean I'm Superman <gasps> or Spider-Man? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You're an everyday hero. The most important part about being a firefighter is helping those around you. But you don't have to be a firefighter to be helpful. Sometimes you can help by being fast or being strong, but you can always help by being kind. Right, Harold? Being kind is very brave, Mimi. Just like the firefighters. Everyone can save the day by doing something nice for others. Well put, Harold. I'm so happy to hear you say that! I guess being kind does make you happy. Gosh, I'm so happy I could just... dance! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Shout hooray! question for you friends. There are three fire stations with their fire trucks. This fire station has three fire trucks. This fire station has five fire trucks. This fire station has one fire truck. Which fire station has the most fire trucks? That's right! Five is the biggest number! This fire station has the most fire trucks. Now, which fire station has the least number of fire trucks? You got it! One fire truck is the smallest number. That means that this fire station has the least number of fire trucks. Great job! Thanks for exploring the fire station with us today, Harold. Anytime, Mimi. Thanks for helping me to feel brave. Hasta luego! 
Wow, friends, we learned so much today. We learned all about firefighters and what they do. We even went on a full adventure and saved a cat from a tree. That's what I like to call a very busy day. And now, I think since we are officially heroes, it's time to put this costume away and go back to being me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide To help you find out who you are inside So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu But I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you Be your own you, be your own you There are so many things that you can be and do So be your own you, be your own you Be your own, be your own you, you, you be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. Ah, hello me. As much fun as it is playing dress up, it sure does feel good being back in my comfy clothes. Remember friends, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. Okie dokie. What should my next you. costume be? In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Hey friends, welcome to my fun, fabulous costume closet. You just caught me dressing up in one of my latest, greatest costume creations. This piece right here is called a vest, but it's no ordinary vest. No, it's a super special vest because it's bright orange and yellow and it's worn by people who do construction. Can you guess what the costume of the day is? I'll give you a hint. They also wear hard hats. Yes, the costume of the day is Construction worker. Those hardworking people that build buildings, repair roads and bridges, and drive big trucks. Oh, I can't wait to put on my costume and pretend to be a construction worker. What kinds of things do you think we'll see when we get to the construction site? Maybe a truck? A measuring tape? Maybe we'll get to build a bridge or a house. So what do you say? Should I put on my costume and get to work? Oh yes, I love that enthusiasm. Let's get into costume. We're getting into costume. Dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowers and boots. Look at me! Construction workers work a ton. They like to build things and get stuff done. Construction workers have lots of fun. Laying brick by brick down one by one. We're doing hard work. With rock and steel and sturdy wood We're doing hard work We're doing really hard work When we're using our tools We always follow the rules We're doing hard work We're digging, yes, we're digging in the dirty, dirty, dirty 
dirt and wearing our hard hats so we won't get hurt. Drink a little water to quench our thirst and always remember safety first. We're doing hard work. We're doing really hard work. When we're using our tools, we always follow the rules. We're doing hard work. Here comes my dump truck, dump truck. Here comes my dump truck, dump truck. Working with my dump truck, dump truck. How I love my dump truck, dump truck. Getting to my dump truck, dump truck. We're doing hard work. We're doing really hard work. When we're using our tools, we always follow the rules. We're doing hard work. When we're using our tools, we always follow the rules. We're doing hard work. We're doing hard work. We're doing hard work. Okay, team, let's build something. Who needs help? You good over there, Jackie? Great work, Tom. Need me to measure something? No? Okay, <laughs> here if you need me. Ah, <sighs> just another day on the construction site with my hard hat and my vest. Brock! Mimi, fancy seeing you here on the old construction site. Love your hard hat. Chad the chicken. <laughs> it's so great to see you. What are you doing here? Oh, well, the construction team here is working hard to build me a new chicken coop. You see, my old coop was on the other side of the road there, but my whole family is on this side of the road. So... So that's why the chicken crossed the road? <laughs> ah, the age-old mystery solved at last. I have no idea what you're talking about. But once my new coop is built, I'll be closer to my family. Well, how can I help? Put me to work, Chad. Well, I was just talking to the team, and they need a few materials. So maybe you could help me with the shopping. Absolutely. Will you help us find the things Chad needs for his new chicken coop friends? Fab! Okay, Chad, we're in. What do you need? Okay, we need wood, red paint, and blue tape. Easy. Let's go to the hardware store. Me, me, and you. Okay, friends, let's see if we can find everything on Chad's list. First thing we need is wood. Do you see any wood? Great job, we found the wood. Two more things left on our list. Next up, we need red paint. Here are the paints. Friends, can you tell me which of these paints is red? Great job, that is the red paint. We found it. Now we only have one more thing to find. Blue tape. Look at all the painting tools. Do you see any blue tape? Hmm. That's it, the blue tape. Well done. Now we have everything we need to build Chad's chicken coop. Brock, I'm so excited. Thanks, friends. This is a hard hat area, which means that if you are going to be here, you need to follow the rules and wear a hard hat to keep safe. Can you tell me which of these construction workers is not wearing a hard hat? That's right. Let's get her a hard hat right away so that she's following the rules and staying safe. Only one of these hats is a hard hat. Can you tell me which one is a hard hat? That's the one. Great work. Now that she's wearing a hard hat, everyone is ready to go to work. Me, me, and you. You know, friends, construction workers don't just build chicken coops and houses, do they, Chad? That's right, Mimi. They also build roads and bridges. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Let's go fix it. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Let's go fix it. Let's go fix it. Let's go fix it. Ah, uh, what do I 
do? What do I do? Don't panic. I'm not panicking. Blah, you're panicking. Who are you talking to? You, chicken. Don't call me a chicken. Chad, what is wrong? Oh, maybe. I've got two dozen eggs that I need to get over to my sister's house. But I don't have a truck to get them over there. I also don't have hands. Well, Chad, that's fine. I've got my truck right there. I can drive you over in my truck and I can help you carry the eggs. Oh, wow, Mimi. A truck and hands? That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. You're my friend. So if you ever need help and I can do it, then I'll help you. You see, friends, it's important to help other people when you can. It's the right thing to do, and it's one way you can show that you are a good friend. Hooray! We get to ride in your truck! Wait, Mimi, I have a joke. Why did the chicken's truck make a loud beeping sound? Why? Because he was bark, bark, barking up! <sighs> bark, 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 bark! Mimi and you! Wow, I'm on top of the world! I feel like I can build or fix anything right now. We really do owe construction workers a big old thank you for all the hard work they do to keep us safe. Thank you, construction workers. That was so fun, building Chad's chicken coop, learning about trucks and tools on the construction site, and also learning about the importance of helping each other. And now, it's time for me to put my costume away and go back to being me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own, you, be your own, you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own, you, be your own, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide to help you find out who you are inside. So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu, but I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you. Be your own, you, be your own, you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own, you, be your own, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. Ah, there we go. Back to being me. Fun, fabulous me. And you get to keep being you too. Don't forget, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. Now where is that be other fabulous you. hat from my be next your own costume? You. There are so many In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Well, fancy seeing you there, my fantastic friends. Welcome to my cozy little costume closet. I was just trying on these cute ears for today's costume. These ears that are on top of my head. Can you guess what I am? A dog, that's right. Did you know that dogs are my absolutely most favorite animal in all the world? They are just so cute and fun to play with. Do you know what sound a dog makes? That's right, woof woof! And did you know that dogs need exercise just like humans do? They need to walk, run, and play so that they can stay healthy and happy. That's why a lot of people take their dogs to the park. What kind of things do you think we'll see at the park? Maybe some trees, a playground, and of course other dogs. So what do you think? Should I put on my dog costume so we can go to the park and pretend to be dogs? If we use our imagination, we can be anything we want to be. 
Will you come along with me? Fabulous! I knew you'd say yes. Let's get into costume. We're getting into costume. Dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowens and boots. Look at me! Ay, no, 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 ¿dónde está? Where is she? Oh, hola, perrito lindo. Hi, cute puppy. Wait, you're not a cute puppy. Mimi, is that you? Normally I say yes, Harold, but no. Today, I'm a dog. Ruff, ruff. Can't you tell from my cool costume, my ears, my paws, and my fuzzy tail? Oh, I see it now. What's the matter, Harold? You look nervous. Oh, Mimi, I'm in rough shape today. It's okay, Harold, it's okay. Take a deep breath. And now, tell me what's wrong. Maybe me and my friends can help you. Oh, hola amigos. You see, I was walking my dog Daisy and then she accidentally got off her leash. Now I can't find her. I've lost Daisy. Oh no. Friends, we have to help Harold find Daisy. Will you help us? Let's go! Gotta find Daisy, rough, rough, rough. She's a little doggy with the fluff, fluff, fluff. Finding her is gonna be tough, tough, tough. Where'd that doggy go? Gotta find Daisy, bark, bark, bark. She must be somewhere in the park, park, park. Gotta get her home before dark, dark, dark. Where'd that doggy go? Maybe she's somewhere chasing a squirrel. Here, Daisy, here, Daisy, come here, Daisy. Or doing some tricks like a good, good girl. Here, Daisy, here, Daisy, come here, Daisy. Maybe she's swimming in the big green lake. Or eating some leftover birthday cake. Gotta find Daisy, rough, rough, rough. She's a little doggy with the fluff, fluff, fluff. Finding her is gonna be tough, tough, tough. Where'd that doggy go? Gotta find Daisy. Bark, bark, bark. She's gotta be somewhere in the park, park, park. Gotta get her home before dark, dark, dark. Where'd that doggy go? Why, oh, why won't she come when we call? Here, Daisy, here, Daisy, come here, Daisy. Maybe she's looking for a tent. Ball. Here, Daisy, here, Daisy, come here, Daisy. Maybe if we throw it and she sees it, then she'll know it came from us. And, and she'll come home without a fuss. Gotta find Daisy, bark, bark, bark. She's gotta be somewhere in the park, park, park. Gotta get her home before dark, dark, dark. Where'd that doggy go? Is she back behind the bushes? She's not behind the bushes. Is she sleeping by a tree? She isn't by the tree. Is she by the water fountain? Is she hanging by the hydrant? Is she playing on the playground? Wait, do you hear that squeaking sound? Could it be our hidden hound? Yes? Yes! Daisy's on the playground? Daisy's, Daisy's on, on the, the playground. playground! Here, Daisy, here, Daisy, come here, Daisy! Oh! We found Daisy, bark, bark, bark. She was here playing in the park, park, park. We'll surely get her home before dark, dark, dark. So where'd that doggy go? Well, rough, 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 bark, bark, bark. dog park to see some of your friends. Of course. Wait, you can speak to dogs? Harold, we've been through this. I am a dog. Oh, right. <gasps> Ooh, 
Did you know that there are all different kinds of dogs? Oh, you make such a good point, Harold. There are big dogs, and there are small dogs. There are puppies. There are dogs with short hair, and there are dogs with long hair. There are dogs with spots, and dogs without spots. Dogs are really good learners. You can teach a dog how to sit, you can teach a dog how to lay down, roll over, or even play fetch. And when you walk your dog, you should walk your dog using a leash. This helps to make sure that your dog doesn't run away. Like Daisy did. Oh, thank goodness Daisy is back and safe and sound. Wait, Daisy? Daisy? I know, not again. Whew. There you are, Daisy. Whew. You know, Harold, I know a farmer who had a dog. What was the dog's name? I won't say it, I'll sing it. A farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, I N G O, I N G O, I. N-G-O and Bingo was his name Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh, N-G-O 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 and Bingo was his name Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh, G-O Geo, Geo and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh. Was his name? Oh, there was a Harold had a dog and Daisy was her name. Oh, D A I S Y D A I S Y D A I S Y and Daisy was her name. Oh, ruff ruff ruff, bark 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 and Daisy was her name. Oh. Daisy must have been so scared being all alone in the park. Have you ever been scared or afraid? That's okay. It happens to everyone. Being afraid is a big emotion and it's perfectly normal. You might feel scared when you're in the dark or if you hear a really loud noise. When you're scared, your heart might beat really fast. You might tense up. You might even tremble a little bit. We all feel it sometimes. All you have to do is pause. Take a deep breath, and the feeling will eventually go away. Boo! Ah! Oh, Harold, <laughs> you scared me. Ah, <sighs> much better. Harold, do you ever feel afraid? Sí, sí tengo miedo. I feel afraid all the time. I was afraid when I thought I lost Daisy because I love her so much. I'm also, oh. I'm embarrassed to say it. You can tell us, Harold. We are your friends. It's okay. Well, I'm also afraid of the dark. I get really scared when it's dark, so I have to sleep with a little nightlight on. Oh, Harold. Lots of people are afraid of the dark. You don't have to be embarrassed about that. You should be proud of who you are, because it's all the little things, even your fears, that make you you. Aw, thanks, Mimi. Which of these two dogs is bigger? That's right! This dog is bigger than the other dog. Now, 
Which of these two dogs has spots? Yes, this dog has spots. Which of these two dogs has long hair? Great job! This is the dog with long hair. And lastly, how many puppies are there? Can we count together? One, two, three, four, five puppies! Fantastic job! Mimi and you. Ooh, being a dog is so much fun. But dogs like to run and play so much, it's no wonder they also like to sleep most of the day. Woof, I am dog tired. Today we helped Harold find his dog. We learned that dogs come in all different shapes and sizes, and even learned that sometimes dogs get afraid just like we do, and that's okay. It's just an emotion. Now, before I take my little cat nap, oh, um, dog nap, there's one thing I have to do. Put away my costume and get back to being me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide to help you find out who you are inside. So wear a funny hat. Or a fluffy tutu But I'm the only Mimi And you're the only you, you Be your own you Be your own you There are so many things that you can be and do So be your own you Be your own you Be your own, be your own you, you, you Be your own, be your own you, you, you Be your own, be your own you, you A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. <sighs> there we go. I'm me, I'm me, I'm me, me. And you are fancy little fun little you. And remember friends, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. <sighs> Be your own. In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to my crazy costume closet. I'm super excited that you're here today. Well, I'm always excited when you're here, but I'm especially excited you're here today because today we have a costume of the day that is cosmic. It is intergalactic, it's stellar. Here's a couple of hints. This is a helmet. A helmet is like a hat that protects your head. And these are gloves. They protect your hands. And the person that wears them, wears them in outer space. Can you guess the costume of the day? That's right, it's an astronaut. We're going up, 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 way up into outer space. Do you know how big space is? Is it this big? No. Is it this big? No, it's really, really, really big! Now, before we get into costume, I have something else I really want to show you. Look at this, friends. This, my friends, is a model of our solar system. And each of these little round balls here is a planet. This one with the rings is Saturn. And this red one is Mars. And this big ball in the very middle, it isn't a planet at all. It's the sun. The sun sits in the middle of our solar system and all of the planets go around the sun. Can you do that with me? Around. Great job. 
And if you look closely, you'll see this planet right here, it's blue and green. That is planet Earth. That's where we live. That's where we are right now. Isn't that cool? And once I put on my spacesuit and use my imagination, then I can leave the planet Earth and go visit all the other planets. So, what do you say? Should we get into costume? Let's get into costume! We're getting into costume. Dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowens and boots. Look at me! Three, two, one, blast off. Three, two, one, blast off. Three, two, one, blast off. Trip, take a trip on my rocket ship. Let's spin through outer space. I feel so free with no gravity. I think I'm gonna like this place. Take a trip, take a trip on my rocket ship. We can sail into the stars. Let's zoom from the moon all the way to Neptune and stop for supper on Mars. Take a trip, take a trip on my rocket ship. There's galaxies galore With a hop and a skip We'll just be a blip And our feet won't touch the floor Take a trip, take a trip On my rocket ship We can mosey through the Milky Way We'll point at all the planets And sink with the sun And make it back before the end of the day We'll hang out in the gray Wait for ground control to respond From way up here the sky is clear And the earth is a tiny dot You only get this view when you're an astronaut Take a trip, take a trip on my rocket ship Wow! Take a trip, take a trip on my rocket ship Wow! Welcome to Mars. <coughs> Sorry, had something in my throat there. Welcome to Mars. Oh, hi friend. My name is Mimi. What's yours? My name is Nate. Alien Nate. But you can call me Nate, or you can call me Alien Nate. But here, I'm not an alien. I'm just Nate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great to meet you, Nate. And these are my friends. We are all from the planet Earth, and this is our first time on Mars. Far out. Literally. <laughs> Hi, friends from Earth. Whoa. You're going to absolutely love it here on Mars. We got the most excellent food, the best weather, and we wear the most tubular clothes. Speaking of clothes, what are you wearing? Oh, this is my spacesuit. I made it myself. This keeps me safe and helps me breathe all the way up here on Mars. I like it a lot. Whoa, you know what? I was just in the middle of something. Maybe you can help me out. Of course. What's up, dude? Dude! Well, I don't know if you know, but Mars is an excellent place to look at the stars. You can see them so clearly. Look, there are so many stars. Thousands and thousands of them. And I've heard that you can see pictures in the stars. They're called constellations. And I'm trying to find one called the Great Bear. Can you help me find it? Yes, absolutely. Friends, can you help us find the bear? Is that it? Hmm. Nope, that looks like a lion. 
not a bear. Whoa, that must be Leo. Leo's a lion. What about that one? Ha, nope, that looks like a horse with wings. Oh yeah, I see it. I know that one too. It's called Pegasus. Wow, this is so cool. But look, just there beside him. I think that's it. <gasps> a bear. That's it, the great bear. We did it. Whoa, tubular. Thanks, Mimi. And thank you, friends. I would never have found it without your help. There's just so many stars in the sky. Well, they aren't all stars, Nate. Some of them are planets and some of them are moons. Look at that one right there. That one is planet Earth. Where are we from? It looks so small from over here because we are so far away from it. But when you're up close, it's actually really big. Far out. I'd love to see it up close. Can we go visit? Absolutely, Nate. All we have to do is use our imaginations. Let's go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above a world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above a world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. How I wonder what you This place is so rad. We're on the moon, Nate. Earth's moon. And look, that's Earth. That's where we live. See, I told you it's much bigger when you're up close. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, I know it is. That's why it's so important we keep it that way. Well, how do you do that? by not littering. Oh, I see. What's littering, Mimi? It's when you throw your trash on the ground instead of in a trash can or a recycling bin. Oh no, that's gnarly. Littering would make the place so dirty. That's right, so if we all work together to keep Earth clean, it'll be a much nicer place for us to live. What are you doing, Nate? Oh, well, I'm doing my part in cleaning up. I had a snack earlier today, and I accidentally dropped my wrapper. Mega sorry. The moon would be a much nicer place because of you. You are such a great new friend. And you're out of this world. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I get it. Moons and stars are very recognizable shapes. This is a moon shape. And this is a star shape. Can you tell me which shape comes next in this pattern? Moon, star, moon, star, moon, star, moon, star. Great job. You're a star for getting that one right. Me, me, and you. Well, Nate, it's been so great getting to know you, but I'm afraid we gotta get back down to Earth. Uh. Totally. Listen, thank you all so much for your help today. It's been so excellent learning and making new friends. If you're ever down on Earth, please stop by and say hi. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. 
Peace out, Mimi. I'll catch you on the flip side. Tubular. Phew. Woo wee. That was probably the longest journey I've ever been on in my imagination. We traveled through outer space in our rocket ship. We learned about the stars with alien Nate on Mars. And we even made a pit stop on the moon and learned about how important it is to clean up after ourselves. Busy, busy day indeed. Speaking of cleaning up after ourselves, time to put away my costume and go back to being me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you, be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you Be your own, be your own you, you, you Putting on a costume can be your guide To help you find out who you are inside So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu But I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you Be your own you, be your own you There are so many things that you can be and do so be your own you, be your own you Be your own, be your own you, you, you Be your own, be your own you, you, you Be your own, be your own you, you, you A one, two, a one, two, three Zippers and buttons and boas and boots I'm back to me Ah <sighs> Thanks for using your imaginations with me today, friends. Remember, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. Be your own In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Oh, bonjour, friends. Hello. You're just in time because I just came across a very unique costume piece. Okay, so let me give you a couple of hints and maybe you can guess what the costume of the day is. They wear a smock and they hold a brush and a palette and they use paints. Can you guess what it is? Yes! It's a painter! Painters use different colors of paints to make beautiful paintings like this. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Painters use brushes like this to apply the paint. And they put the paint on a canvas like this. And canvases can be small like this one or they can be big really big, like the size of this wall. <laughs> so today, when we put on our painter costume, we'll get to paint something beautiful together and we'll learn all about colors. What kinds of things do you think we'll paint? Flowers? Trees? A butterfly? Oh, so what do you say, friends? Should we get into costume? Let's go! We're getting into costume, dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowens and boots. Look at me! from the heart with a swish and a flick you get to pick so don't be afraid to start we're painting together we're painting and making art I've got my 
my smock And I've got my brush I've got lots of time There's no need to rush My easel is ready My canvas awaits I keep my hand steady While I paint with my paints We're painting, we're painting We're painting and making art We're painting, we're painting And painting comes from the heart With a swish and a flick You get to pick So don't be afraid to start We're painting together We're painting and making art Okay friends, can you paint with me? Can you paint a straight line? Very fine line. Can you paint me a squiggle? <laughs> that makes me giggle. Can you paint me a dot? Mmm, I like that a lot. Can you paint me a glarba darba harba blah? Great job. Anything you paint is art. Sing with me. We're painting, we're painting, we're painting and making art. We're painting, we're painting, and painting comes from the heart. With a swish and a flick, you get to pick, so don't be afraid to start. We're painting together, we're painting and making art. We're painting, we're painting And painting comes from the heart With a swish and a flick You get to pick So don't be afraid to start We're painting together We're painting And making art What's up? Why, Alien Nate, what are you doing here on Earth? Ooh, love your smock. Ah, uh, Mimi, Earth is absolutely the most rad place in the universe. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mars is great and all, but Earth has the most excellent oceans. And the waves, ah, the waves, they call me. What are you painting, Mimi? Oh, just a simple little piece. Wow, tubular. You're like a really good painter. I'm actually really happy I ran into a painter today. I've just signed up for a painting competition with some of my surfer friends down at the beach. Whoever can paint the most rad, most cool, most excellent surfboard wins the title of the King of the Swell. Oh, that sounds like so much fun, Nate. We would be absolutely thrilled to help you out. Here, let's get a blank canvas and some fresh paints. Oh, excellent. Except, oh no, Mimi. I really want my surfboard to be purple, orange, and green. We don't have any of those colors. Oh, don't worry, Nate. You see, we can actually mix these colors to create those colors. You're joking. That's so rad. Here, let me show you. Let's say we want to make the color purple. We'll take this color, which is, what color is this, friends? That's right. And we mix it with this color. What color is this? Good job. It's blue. And we mix them together like this, and it makes purple. What do you think, Nate? Whoa, that is so tubular. Perfect. I'll use that for the top of my surfboard. Now, what if I need orange? So, for orange, we'll mix a little bit of red with a little bit of, do you know what this color is? Yeah, it's yellow. Well done. If we mix the red with the yellow, we get orange. Red. Now, all I need is a little bit of green. 
please tell me you can make green. Of course we can. All we do is take a little bit of yellow and mix it with a little bit of blue and voila, we've got the color green. Most excellent. This will complete my masterpiece. Just some green on the bottom of my board, some waves here with a little blue, a little bit of sunshine, and boom. Oh, Nate, it's tubular. <laughs> Friends, look at all the different things I've painted. There are so many different interesting things to look at. But I need your help finding some things. Can you spot the pink lollipop? Great job! There it is, the pink lollipop, and man, does it look delicious. Now, can you spot the blue elephant? Well done! That's right! That is a blue elephant. You're really good at this. Okay, let's see if we can find one more. Where is the red dinosaur? Terrific! You found the red dinosaur. Way to go. Mimi and you! Now that you're really good at colors, let's sing a song together. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three bags full. One for the painter, one for her friend, one for the alien who lives round the bend. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three bags full. Baba Blue Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three bags full. One for the painter, one for her friend, one for the alien who lives round the bend. Baba Blue Sheep, have you any Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three bags full. Baba Red Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three bags full. One for the painter, one for her friend, one for the alien who lives round the bend. Baba Red Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three bags full. Good, Good job. job! And done. Hmm. I'm getting good at this painting thing. <laughs> oh, Nate, what is wrong? Why are you crying? Mimi. I didn't win the competition, and I feel, I feel, I feel... Aw, <laughs> it's okay, Nate. You feel really sad about not winning the competition, don't you? Mm-hmm. I really, really wanted to win. That's okay. It's okay to feel really sad sometimes. I feel really sad sometimes, too. You do? Really? Yeah. I feel all kinds of emotions. Sometimes I'm really happy, sometimes I'm really angry, and sometimes I'm really sad. It's okay to feel big emotions. It's part of what makes you, you. Oh, but emotions can feel overwhelming sometimes. I know, but emotions are always temporary. You're sad now, but after our conversation, I bet you're feeling a little better, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I do feel better. It's just, the other surfers all painted their surfboards blue, and I painted mine all different kinds of colors. I did it wrong. No, you didn't. Just because you did it differently doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it unique. The most important thing is that you painted it the way you wanted. It's okay to be different. Well, I guess I am pretty different, huh? I'm like, Literally an alien from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nate. I say you're pretty unique. And I really like you just the way you are. 
And I think your surfboard is really, really rad. It's tubular. Right on. Me, me, and you. What a fabulous, fantastic day of painting with friends. I could paint all day long with you. But I think it's that time to put away my brushes and fold up my costumes and get back to just being Mimi. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide to help you find out who you are inside. So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu, but I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you, be your own you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. I'm fun. I'm fabulous. I'm me. And ooh, look at you. You are you and you are looking good. Don't forget, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you are a shining star. Bye for now. Okay. In the costume closet with Mimi and you. Oh, hi there, fabulous friends. Aren't you looking fine today? Did you change something? Did you get a new haircut? Well, whatever it is, you look good. And I was just looking at myself, and I'm looking pretty good too. You know why? because I was just doing my hair. And when your hair is looking good, you're looking good. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> this is all a clue for today's costume of the day. I'll give you some hints. This person uses a comb and hairspray. They work all day making hair look really good. Can you guess what it is? Ding, 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 ding! That's right, the costume of the day is hairdresser. Hairdressers get to use lots of fun tools like combs, brushes, hair dryers, and hair clips. And they get to be really creative and make you look fresh and new. So what do you say? Why don't we stop talking about it and start doing it? Should we get into costume? Let's get into costume! We're getting into costume Dressing up in something new Yeah, we're getting into costume So let's see what we can be and do With Mimi and you A one, two, a one, two, three Zippers and buttons and boas and boots Look at me! Hair, yeah, we're doing hair. Long hair, short hair, blonde hair, brown hair, 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 yeah, we're doing hair. You can wear 
to me, Mies Harris? That's more like it. <clears throat> Welcome to Mimi's Hair Salon, Harold. What can I hair do for you? <laughs> Good one, Mimi. So I got an invitation to the Herald Awards. What's the Herald Awards? Oh, it's a yearly award show when they invite all of the famous Heralds of the world and they give out awards like Funniest Herald, Top Chef Herald, Most Heralded Herald, Best Herald Hairdo. Oh. I see where you're going. So you want to show up as the herald with the best hairdo in the room, huh? Si, claro. Yes, of course. I mean, I feel like I don't have much else going for me. Harold, stop. You are the most interesting, most wonderful herald I've ever met. If it were up to me, you'd win all the herald awards. And you don't need to change a thing, but as your hairdresser, I am here to serve. So what kind of hairdo are you thinking? Well, this is where I need your help. I don't even know what my options are. Ayúdame. Well, when it comes to hair, you think about the color of hair you want, the length of hair you want, and then the style of hair you want. Oh, okay. Well, that seems easy enough. Can you guide me through it and I'll make some choices? Of course. Okay, let's start with color. Hair comes in all different kinds of colors, and each color is unique and beautiful just like you. Here are just three of many different options we have today. Blonde hair, brown hair, or red hair. I think I'll go with rojo, red hair. That's a fabulous choice, Harold. Now you get to decide the length. Hair can be short, medium length, or it can be long. Hmm. I'm a medium length person. Let's go with medium length. That we can do. And lastly, what kind of style do you want? We can do curly hair, straight hair, or wavy hair. I've always wanted curly hair. Let's go with that. You've got it, Harold. Red, medium length, curly hair coming right up. Hmm. Voila, Harold! If you don't win the award for best Harold hairdo, I don't know who will. I love it! It's exactly what I've always wanted. Thank you, Mimi. You're the best. Oh. Feel free to show your appreciation with a tip. Always look both ways before crossing the street. Not exactly the tip I was expecting, but good advice nonetheless. You can do so many fun things with hair. You can decorate it with bows, you can put it in cornrows, you can get a fade, or you can rock a braid. Take a look at these three different hairstyles. Each of these hairstyles has a different number of braids. Can you tell me which one has one braid? Yes, that hair has one braid. Now, which hairstyle has three braids? Let's count. One, two, three. Well done. And lastly, but not least, which hairstyle has five braids? One, two, three, four, five. Way to go! This one has five braids. Good job. Mimi and you! Friends, we've learned so much about different kinds of hair, but we haven't talked about my favorite hair of all time. My hair! What do you think? Doesn't it look good? I love my hair so much because it's big, like my personality. It's curly, and it's beautiful, beautiful brown. I also love the way it bounces back, like this. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love my curly hair, curly hair, curly hair. Oh, I love my curly hair, and I wanted you to know. I love the way it moves like this 
moves like this, moves like this. I love the way it moves like this. That's why I let it grow. My hair is part of who I am, who I am, who I am. My hair is part of who I am. That's why I love it so. Hey, 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 I love my hair now. Mimi, I won. I won. Harold, yes, congratulations. But wait. What happened to your fabulous hairdo? Well, Mimi, when I got home, I realized that the red, curly hair wasn't me. So you changed your hair back and you still won Harold with the best hairdo? No, Harold won that award. No, I won the award for most authentic Harold. That's wonderful, Harold. You know, I think that award is probably the most important award you could have won because it shows that you are not only beautiful on the outside, but also on the inside. You see, friends, you can change your hairstyles or your clothing style all you want to look beautiful, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you feel beautiful on the inside. That's called having a positive self-image. If you feel good about yourself, then you'll look good. And Mimi, can I say something? Sure, Harold. You look good. Oh, you don't have to tell me, cause I know I look good. I look really good, because you know what? Because, because you I feel good. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. I just love, love, love doing hair. It's so fun being creative and picking the different styles and colors and working with long hair, short hair. <laughs> but now, I think it's time to put the costumes away and go back to being fabulous me. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you. Be your own you, be your own, be your own you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own you, be your own you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own you. Your own, be your own, you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide to help you find out who you are inside. So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu, but I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you. Be your own, you, be your own, you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. I'm back. I'm me. I'm me, 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 me. I'm back. I'm me. I'm me, 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 me. Ooh, and look at you. You're you, you're you, you're you, 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 you. Don't forget, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye for now. Be your own you, be your own you. In the costume closet with me, me, and you. To be or not to be, that is the question. Oh, hey there friends. Thank you for dropping by my costume closet. Do you like my new hat? This is no ordinary hat. It's a very special hat because it has a net on it. A net that will protect me from the bees. You see, the costume of the day is... Beak 
beekeeper. Beekeepers take care of the colonies of bees. And do you know what bees make? That's right, bees make honey. Yummy, yummy honey. They work together and they collect nectar from flowers. And they turn that nectar into honey. So today, when I put on my beekeeper costume, we're gonna see all kinds of bees and flowers and sweet, sweet honey. So what do you say, friends? Should I put on my costume so we can go visit the bees? Yay, let's get into costume. We're getting into costume, dressing up in something new. Yeah, we're getting into costume. So let's see what we can be and do with Mimi and you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and bowers and boots. Look at me! Wow, friends, look at all the bees. They're working hard making honey. Oh, pardon me, ma'am, I need to get by. I've got an appointment with the queen. Wait a minute, are you? The beekeeper? Why, yes, I am. Oh. And who might you be? Oh, my deepest apologies, madame. I humbly bow before the keeper of the bees. My name is Arthur, B. Arthur. It is a great honor to be in your presence. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, Arthur. Listen, I know you're a busy bee, Arthur. But would you mind joining me for a quick song so we can teach our friends here all about bee life? I'd be delighted. I'm so busy, busy, busy with my buzzy, buzzy bees. And my buzzy, buzzy bees are busy, busy with me. I'm so busy, 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 they're so buzzy, buzzy, buzzy. I'm so busy, they're so buzzy, that's the biz of the bees. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Taking care of business is what my life's about. I always make sure to say please to the bees, cause I don't wanna freak them out. What we call a hive is what bees call a home. And what bees leave behind is a delicious honeycomb. I'm so busy, busy, busy with my buzzy, buzzy bees And my buzzy, buzzy bees are busy, busy with me I'm so busy, 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 they're so buzzy, buzzy, buzzy I'm so busy, they're so buzzy, that's the biz of the bees Buzz, 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 buzz Buzz, 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 buzz Bees take pollen from flower to flower And make the flowers grow with their pollen power And when they're all fuzzy and polleny They head on home to their colony Now when you visit bees in the place they're in Always remember to cover your skin Bees are fun and friendly and such So feel free to look, but just don't touch I'm so busy, busy, busy with my buzzy, buzzy bees And my buzzy, buzzy bees are busy, busy with me I'm so busy, 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 they're so buzzy, buzzy, buzzy I'm so busy, they're so buzzy, that's the biz of the bees I'm so busy, busy, busy with my buzzy, buzzy bees And my buzzy, buzzy bees are busy, busy with me I'm so busy, 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 they're so buzzy, buzzy, buzzy I'm so busy, they're so buzzy, that's the biz of the bees I'm so busy, I'm so buzzy, that's the biz of the bees I'm so busy, I'm so buzzy, I'm so busy I'm so buzzy, that's the busy, buzzy, busy, buzzy bees, bees of the bees. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Busy and so buzzy, that's the biz of the bees. Okay, friends, beehives come in all different shapes and sizes, just like you and me. Take a look at these three beehives. They are as unique as can be. Each one is a different shape. Can you tell me which beehive is shaped like a triangle? Great job! Yes, this beehive is shaped like a triangle. Now, can you tell me which beehive is in the shape of a square? Well done! Now, last but not least, which beehive is shaped like a circle? 
Fantastic! That beehive is shaped like a circle. So we've got a triangle, a square, and a circle. And each one is buzzing with bees. Beautiful! Me, me, and you! Hi, Bee Jane! Hi, Bee Susie! Oh, Bee Yonce! Big fan! Oh, Mimi, keeper of the bees. I have urgent news from the beehive. What's the buzz, Arthur? Tell me, what's happening? Well, the hive is in trouble. We can't seem to locate any flowers. Without flowers, we can't collect nectar. And without nectar... No, honey! Oh, honey, no. This won't do. We need to find flowers right away. What do you say, friends? Will you help me and Arthur find flowers so they can get back to making honey? Oh, incredible! Thank you so much, friends. The hive needs you. Let's do this. Okay, friends. If you spot a flower, you let us know, okay? What's that? You see a flower? Where? Over there? Where? Oh, over there! Look, Arthur! A flower! Oh, wow, that is a lovely flower. But, my apologies, Mimi, we need a lot more flowers than that if we're going to make honey. Hmm, okay. Let's keep looking. What's that? Did you spot more flowers? Where? Over there? Oh, wow, look, Arthur! There's a patch of beautiful flowers. Will that be enough for the hive to make honey? Oh, it is a lovely patch of flowers. And this is certainly helpful. <laughs> but we need a whole field of flowers if we're going to create enough honey. No worries, Arthur. We will find all the flowers you need. Let's keep hunting. What's that? Did you say there are more flowers? Where? Over there? Oh, wow! Look, Arthur, we found it! A huge field of flowers! We did it! Oh, incredible! Yes, yes, this is perfect! Thank you so much, friends, for helping us find the field of flowers! You've saved the hive! I'll alert them right away! Bye, Arthur! Oh, I love being a beekeeper because bees are such hard-working insects! And they're so helpful to humans! You know, I know a song about another kind of insect that is also helpful to humans. It's a song about an itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. honey in such a short amount of time. How do you do it? Well, Mimi, it's all about teamwork. You see, one bee would only be able to make just the tiniest bit of honey. But since there are hundreds of us all working together as a team, we're able to do so much more. That's a great lesson for all of us, Arthur. Even you, friends. It's always faster and more fun to work as a team. So if you ever need help with something, ask. Or if you see someone else that might need help, offer to help. You'll be able to get more done faster, just like the bees. You're right, Mimi. Oh, and that just made me think of something. What's that, Arthur? If one beehive can make all of this honey, imagine how much two beehives can make. <laughs> 
Oh, that's okay, Arthur. We've got plenty of honey here. I'm going to go recruit the other beehives. Uh, oh, Arthur, wait! Oh, boy. We're about to have a lot more honey than we'll know what to do with. This is about to be a sticky situation. <laughs> wow, friends. That was a busy, busy day learning about the biz of the bees, wasn't it? <laughs> I had so much fun learning all about how bees make honey and how they work as a big team. And now, I think it's time to put away my beekeeper costume and get back to being me. Beer on you, beer on you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So beer on you, beer on you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. When you're playing dress up, you can never mess up. Life is just a closet full of clothes. Anything you try on, no, you can rely on me to come to all of your fashion shows. Be your own, you, be your own, you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own, you, be your own, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Putting on a costume can be your guide to help you find out who you are inside. So wear a funny hat or a fluffy tutu, but I'm the only Mimi and you're the only you, you. Be your own, you, be your own, you. There are so many things that you can be and do. So be your own, you, be your own, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. Be your own, be your own, you, you, you. A one, two, a one, two, three. Zippers and buttons and boas and boots. I'm back to me. Ah, oh, there we are. Back to me. I tell you what, I just love pretending, but I love being me even more. And you should love being you. Remember friends, you're perfectly perfect the way you are. Costume or not, you're a shining star. Bye bye for now. Okay. Oh, now what is this? Be your own you.